how may I help you? We often get calls from doctors who experience water coolant leaks from their hand pieces. And while the cause may differ in various units, most systems incorporate some form of water relay valve or clippered valve that sends water to the hand pieces. If the water does not completely shut off, the water relay valve is often the culprit. A water relay valve works in conjunction with a relieving on-off toggle. When the unit's foot control is depressed, an air signal is sent to the relay valve to activate it, and the water will begin to flow to the hand pieces. Because of water impurities, these valves can often get gunked up. Some have a diaphragm, which can also become damaged. While these can be disassembled and cleaned, it is often easier to just replace the valve. Water relay valves come in many styles and shapes. Some even have a needle valve or flow control incorporated into them, but they all do the same thing, and installing a replacement could not be easier. We'll be installing a relay valve into this Beaver State unit, and after removing the cover, we want to replace with a valve that is closest to the original configuration so that we can ensure that it will fit properly. The old valve may be cut out, or you can use a wrench or extracting forceps to slide the tubing clamps back, and then pull off the tubing as seen here. It's a good idea to trim the tubing ends if you decide to go this route. Using our trusty sleeve tool, we are ready to install the new valve. Installation is as simple as reattaching the tubing, and it's easily completed by any staff member. No need calling a tech in for this job. After all the lines are reattached and the unit has been checked for proper function, take pride in the fact that you have just stopped your leak.